Hi everyone. It's a five step process to set up the turtle graphics inside your Eclipse. So I'm going to walk you through all five steps. The first step is going to your school loop file locker for our particular course. So here's what mine looks like. I'm not sure if yours looks the same as my teacher page, but go to the comp programming Java page and you should see at the bottom here turtle.zip. If you don't have core.jar, you probably also want to download core.jar, um, but you should have that one already. Okay, so when you click on turtle.zip, it will download into your downloads folder. Don't double click it, don't, so on yours, it, there's probably a bar, a downloads bar at the bottom. Don't click the icon in the downloads bar. Instead, open your file explorer and actually navigate to uh, this computer, like find your downloads folder, however you get there. So in your downloads folder, you should see turtle. It might say turtle.zip, it might say turtle, but you should see an icon that has a little folder with a zip. Even though you can double click it and it looks just like a regular folder here, it's not a regular folder. This is actually a file that has compressed some other files. So the next step is we have to move this into your workspace folder. So go ahead and copy it. Um, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use menus here, but it's probably faster to use keyboard shortcuts like control C for copy. So you gotta navigate now to wherever your workspace folder is. Yours is on your USB key. Mine is somewhere different. So I'm gonna to go to mine. Mine is 2016 Intro Java. You'll know you're in your workspace folder when you see other folders that are the same as all your other projects. So go ahead and paste turtle.zip in there. Now we gotta unzip it, otherwise known as extracting it. So select it, right click and say extract all and that's fine, we'll extract it here. And let's close the window that it just opened. So what it did was it took this zip file and it uncompressed the contents and put it inside a folder called turtle. So if you double click on turtle, you should see two Java files. If you go back up, um, you should see all the rest of your project folders. Let's delete turtle.zip. And now we're ready to actually set it up in Eclipse. So in Eclipse, double check to make sure that your workspace is in the right spot. So go to File, Switch Workspace, Other. I'm just making sure that my workspace folder is the same folder where I unzipped the file. And it looks like that it is. Oops. So it's switching the workspace for me. So now you have to remember the exact folder name, turtle. And I'm going to go to File, New, Java Project, and name your Java project the exact same thing as the folder name, including capitals. Don't click Finish yet. Instead, look down here. See how there's nothing down here right now? But then if I type T-U-R-T-L-E, now it says the wizard will automatically configure stuff. So that's good because it means that it recognized that there's already a Java project in that folder and it's automatically going to configure it to add it to our Eclipse. So click finish and now you should see a turtle project and if you expand it you should see main and turtle. So let's double click main and here's a simple turtle program. All right, well, it's still not working because we are using the processing graphics package and we need to include core.jar in our build path. So you've done this part before also, but let me show you how. So click on the highest level project here in your package explorer called Turtle. Right click, go to properties, Java build path, the libraries tab at the top, and then click add external jars. Now you have to navigate and find where did you save core.jar. It's probably in the root of your USB key because that's where I told you where to put it. Um, but if you put it somewhere else, you can find it wherever it is that you put it. But once you found core.jar, select it, click open. You should see it here and click OK. And if all has gone well, all the red compile time errors will disappear and you can click play and say run as a Java application and it should pop open a little window with uh, an exciting green line there. So if that's all worked, come back for the next video and I'll explain how it all works and what else you can do with this.